So, Pereira Merkel. All right, and we've got some really pretty guns. Uh, they've taken my gun away to show a customer, which is really heartbreaking. Uh, but we're going to start with yours, Andy. Yeah. My personal favourite, my add. And my mine. personal favourite. It just, I think it's a short person thing. It must be. Okay. A one-off. 8 57 double. 8 double. Great calibre. Fantastic. Ideal for just about anything. It's been quite a star of the show. I think the three guns here have yeah. been a star of the show. And it's well, I, I just like the double rifle. I know we do them in open numbers, but something about side by uh, side. side. A double rifle should be side, side by side. Side by side. Yeah, yeah, it just feels right, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And you I still maintain the quality. I think when you go to an over and under with rifles, you don't tend to get the same quality feel. Well, you I just personally lose are, that dream that yeah. you get in that. Yeah. It's, it's like the dream rifle, isn't it? It is. It is. I if mean, you've got the money and I you're going to go we'll big game about hunting. Having the money, having the right gun, going on the right journey, getting the right memories, and coming back and telling your grandchildren about the great adventure you had. And you it's can probably get... It's been around for a long time, isn't it, since the gun started. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing I like about that one is I can probably convince the wife to let me buy it because it's got unicorns on the side of it and the daughter's going to love it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that, that, is, that is a, is a new good. sales tactic in ETC Settle. It is. Yeah. It is. I've never thought of that. <laughs> Dear Merkel, please make all guns with unicorns on. That's it. Unicorns, pixies and fairies. That's the one, Mike. Yeah. It's going to win every time. And it's got a little bit of a dragon sort of lion got, thing on the other side. Got, uh, well, this, so it's not a point that it's covered in mythical creatures. Well, this is all medieval um, Germanic creatures of the forest, isn't it? Yeah. Which is where it comes from. Hunting so you, magic moments. You've got a unicorn. You've got a fanged behemoth. Things. What other things. is it? 8x57. 8 57 Double. Nice. And we've got the wild boar on the bottom side, Mike, which right. we all know. Is the We've animal of choice there. for real men. <laughs> That's it. Hunting magic Hunting moments. Hunting magic moments. Girl. Well, no song about that. Toby Sweets. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so let's move you, on. Please, yeah. So, 308 with unicorns on it again. I think it's going to be a new trend. You're a bit of a unicorn animal, really, aren't you? It is. Celtic unicorns. Celtic so unicorns. You do get unicorns in Scotland and Ireland, and I believe. And Cornwall. Um, Don't not forget the Cornish. I've got the Cornish. We've got a lovely bit of wood, nice fluted barrel, already screw cut. You've got that lovely wooden handle on the end. I quite like it. I think it's it's I really, I'm smart, not, sophisticated I'm not, and working I'm not a at the Celtic same time. kind of guy in terms of pattern, but this is a beautiful Celtic rifle, it really is. It is. Uh, the buckle seem to have that thing, and, and the design of the action seems to lend itself to fully covered engraving, which it does. It does. They seem to do a good job of actually yeah. artistically. And that push-up, real smooth, real nice, nice plate, lovely. So we noticed from the, the Kyler edition we got in the shop is actually that all of their custom-ish rifles seem to have a bit of a tuned cocking yeah. safety to them, which refined. is... Refined. That's the word, I think. Refined. More refined like the rest of the gun. That's it. Damn right, all right. So the gun you have in the shop, which is the wild, one of wild... The Kyler, the Kyler edition. That is exceptional. Oh, I love it. With the oak leaves. We have, so yeah. we have oak leaves on the other gun that Tom's got. Hold on, I'm going to trade your gun for the gun that I really want. This gun is called the Snow White edition. Uh, because it's got seven dwarves on it. There is nothing that isn't stunning about the engraving on this gun. You've got prince and princess on a horse. You've got one, two, three, four. Seven dwarves on this gun, including the other side. You have, once again, an absolutely stunning engraved magazine. This is a work of art. There is no doubt about it. Everything about these guns on the custom Merkels is. It is. But not only is it still a work of art, it's still a perfectly functional working rifle. This is they it. can still be taken apart, can still be taken on travels. The thing I like about wood like this, being such great quality, is the fact the longer you own the gun, the more you use it, it gains real patina. Yeah. There's seldom seen these days in the modern world of hunting where people just want I mean, I think that's the, the best thing I found about the Merkels, as you know, we picked one up for the estate not so long since. Took it straight out of the box, straight on target, and bang, it was bang, bang. Yeah. every time through the same hole with factory ammunition, no home loading. That's what you need. And the and only problem is the shooter. It is. <laughs> if only you can put that into beauty as well. You've got the reliability, the accuracy, and the beauty put together. You know, and it, if I had the money spare, I would get one, Mike, every time. Well, I'm sure we can do something. <laughs> 
I have to convince the wise first, Andy. I've got a unicorn, Sonic. <laughs> there we go, it's a winner. Yeah, it is stunning. Like, to be able to tell a story on the rifle you have in your cabinet, yeah. that in itself is just... And the simplicity of taking it down, rebuilding it back up again, it's... Yeah, it's I, all prefer, I prefer the Celtic one, that's mine. Celtic's been fashionable now for I'm going to stay with years. the AB57 double, mate. I would like this, but with Celtic engraving. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to stick with the unicorns that. and yeah. ma magical creatures. But that's just something different. You don't see that very often. You know, you, you, you see all the scribings and the different bits. I like that. That's different. How often do you see seven dwarves on a gun? I haven't. <laughs> They're still creatures of the forest, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> just creatures. <laughs> they live in a wood or something. Andy, thank you very much, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. John, pleasure. Thank you very much, mate.